So I started finding the Wi-Fi. Tell us with the Wi-Fi library to connect to come out to connect. Have to go here and connect it to the right endpoint, access point. Yeah, worked. Should be here the come out to connect. I'm going to connect here. And then we just go to the default IP address. That is for one. Here will be greeted by Tau Electronics Wi-Fi Manager. Here we are. We will just set up Wi-Fi to our home Wi-Fi now. Scout box. Yeah, password. Here, yeah, okay. That's it. Raise, restart and connect to the new Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. Here, yeah, let's see. Sometimes it doesn't restart. Saving the config. That's it. Here, yeah, the IP address and the resolution displayed. So now it's time. Oh, because not to reconnect to the other Wi-Fi one previous. It takes a bit of time. Already connected. Okay. You should be able to access Camelot card if you are in Ubuntu or also with the AP address in any other device. So now we'll take a little picture. Okay, I will take my picture upside down, doesn't matter. Photo here. Black. Should be processing the picture now. Yeah, capturing done. And um, here is the picture. Yeah. Oh, actually, it works much more faster with this new SP32. Takes about three seconds. Let's do it again and watch the display in the same time. Takes about two seconds to go. Picture capturing. Yeah. It's done. And it's really, really fast now. But the only issue we have is that it's not being saved on the spiffs. Now, um, if you go to File Manager here, you won't see the picture saved. And it's only the JSON, our configuration. Because saving it on the spiffs is taking a lot of time compared to the A266 in our configuration. And I think that's because the spiffs is still a bit raw and it's not usable for anything more than saving small configuration files like the ones I'm drawing. But to save a 200 kilobytes JPEG is not what the speech is designed for. Thank you for watching. We'll keep on post about new developments and new designs. I actually have to redesign this box here, the case to suit the new SP32. And I thought just to make a little hole and two supporters and to use it like I'm using it right now without soldering. Just putting the pins on like a big red board. Thank you. Bye bye.